All right, in the previous video, we showed you how to make the hands and the switch layers. Now we're going to actually bone rig Stewie here so that we can move him around. But, okay, the original drawing that we had for Stewie there, we can go ahead and delete that because we no longer need that. And we have our Stewie right here. So let's give Stewie some bones so we can move him around. What we're going to do is we're going to make sure you're selected on the bone layer, not any of the other layers that create Stewie, the actual bone layer where everything is in. There. And we're going to come over here and we're going to add bones. Okay. Now, the first thing we want is we want the pelvis to have the original bone, the main bone, so we can move the entire body off of that bone. Okay, so you want to put it right there in the middle. And then so we can bend, we're going to need a bone for the chest. Put that in there. And then his head is going to need a bone. So he can tilt his head. Now, bones follow a parent structure. So, like, if I were to move the head bone, I mean, I can just show you here. Let's go to the Manipulate Bones tool. If we move this, as you can see, let's take the bone strength off because you can see that kind of creates some weird twisting effects okay now if I move this okay nothing is parented to the bones yet okay so what we're gonna do is we need to go into here and everything we want connected to this bone so we're gonna select the head group that's why we grouped everything into the head and then we're going to come over here and select under bones to bind layer to bone. Okay, and as you can see, it grays out all the bones. So we're going to pick the bone we want it all connected to just by clicking on it. Okay, then we want the body connected to this bone. So we're going to go click on the body layer and click that bone. And then we want the pelvis connected to that bone, just like that. Now, if we go back to the bone layer and click on manipulate bones, when we move Stewie's head, Okay, but see how it moves all the bones below it? That's why they parent. Okay, so we that way when we move the body, his head's going to go too. So what we need to do is we need to go and select bone right here. We're going to select the torso bone, and that's the one we're going to add the bones for the arm from. We're going to have the one for the upper arm, one for the lower arm, and the one for the hand. Then we're going to go back and select the body and get bone again and add the ones for this arm. That's the way they're parented to the body bone as well. Now we need to select the pelvic bone and add the one for the legs. And select and add the one for that leg. Okay. <coughs> And then we can also add bones for his feet. If we want to be able to move his feet, select that bone. We'll add one for this foot just to kind of show you how that's going to work. Now, there would be two bones for each leg if he had knees, but our Stewie's not going to have knees, so his legs will just move all together. Now we just got to finish binding the rest of these layers to the bones. So we need to select the back foot. And we're going to go over here to bone, and bind layer to bone, and we're going to pick that bone. Now the back leg is going to go to that bone. The back upper arm is going to go to that bone. Back lower arm to that bone. The patch, we're going to connect it to the that bone. The pelvis is already attached. That front foot is going to be attached to that bone. Front leg to the front leg bone body as you can see is already attached there the front upper arm front lower arm patch the head is already attached and everything below in that group is already attached to that bone as well the front hand we're going to attach to that bone the back hand we're going to attach to that bone and now we can click back on this we can hit the Z key or manipulate bones to move them, but we're going to go to the bone strength, and now we're going to take the strength out of all of these bones. Because that is for a different type of bone rigging that we're not going to worry about. We're just going to rig them to the layers. So now we can go back to manipulate bones. 
And now we can, you know, move Stewie's arm. And as you can see, his hand goes in front of his face, but his arm doesn't. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into here. We're going to take the front hand, because it's above the head, and move it to the front arm. We're going to take the back hand and move it down here with the back arm. Put it in the right spot there. Okay. Now, if we go back to the bone layer and manipulate, see it goes up underneath. So he can't actually scratch his nose. So what we're going to do, because this arm, yeah, would go behind the head, because it's behind. This one needs to come out front. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the front hand, the lower arm, the upper arm, and the upper arm patch. And we're going to move it above the head. Okay. Oh, we didn't get all the arms there. Move those up there. And move the upper arm. Nope. I accidentally double click. Let's move it up there. Okay. Now you see how his shoulder is kind of in front of that there? That's an easy fix. You just grab. Let's zoom in here. And we're going to just move it down so that it doesn't come up in front there. So we're going to move that arm down to right about there. Now I'll move the lower arm down. Move that front hand down. And now you can see the bones are a little off. So let's go back in and uh, translate bones. Move the bones to where we want them to pivot from. Just like that. And now we can move this and he actually puts his arm up in front of his face. Now you can see he can hyperextend his elbow. You know, and he can take his head and turn it clear over. We can fix that real easy just by clicking on the bone, make sure it's highlighted, and we're going to go to click on the select bone, select which bone, and we can go into bone constraints and add angle constraints. And as you can see, it gives us these lines, and that's how far Stewie can now bend his head, and it stops. But we don't want him bending his head quite that far. So we can go back into the bone constraints and take these down to, let's try 30. And, you know, that's as far as Stewie can bend his head now. And you can do that for all the bones so that they can only bend, like his elbows can't hyperextend and bend backwards. You know, his feet can't totally flop off the end of his leg there. And uh, you can kind of see how this gap creates with his leg there. That's an easy fix. I'll show you how to fix that. So let's go to the front leg. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to hit add. We're going to add a point. Pull that up here. And then we're going to make his leg like really tall up in here. Add another point up in there. Okay. And now we have this line right here, so we're going to hide that line. Now, that is his leg goes clear up into there. Now I'll see what happens when we move the leg. See, we're still seeing a line right there. Um, see, this is just more into the tweaking of it. I tell you the bit. I mean, that's just a way hiding lines works with some of the older software. But with eight, I think seven has it too. You can add a patch. Um, okay, we need to go down here, go to the leg, and then we need to add a patch, which we're going to patch it to the pelvis, okay, and then we're going to move that patch right here, and then we're going to scale it up so that it covers the whole top of the leg there. And then we're going to go back to the leg, and we're going to unhide all these lines. Okay, so if you turn the patch off, you can see. Let's uh, turn the pelvis off for a minute there. There we go. And turn the body off so we can see the leg. Okay, there we, we didn't unhide that one. So now that one's unhid. Okay, and 
So now we can turn all this back on and you can see that you can still kind of see part of one lines there. So let's go into the pelvis patch, move it over right about there. Okay, this is what makes nice about the patches. And now we can go in and we can move Stewie's leg and it looks a little more natural. And you just got to kind of keep tweaking them to get them where you want it so that when you do move the leg it gives it a fairly natural look. We gotta pull that out just a hair more. Uh, yeah, transmute that point out just a little more and then there. Now it kinda looks like Stewie's actually bending his leg. Still a little off but you, know, you kinda get the point. And that's a basic, you know, bone rigging. And you can move, you know, make Stewie do whatever he wants, you know. And that's how you bone rig. To move Stewie around. Make him wave. Say bye-bye, Stewie. Bye-bye, Stewie. Thanks for watching.